We'll be talking about the Android navigation drawer. I'll be integrating it into the quiz application. So let's get that started. We've already set up the menu. Well, we have the nav drawer.xml, just the basic way to add items. Now we'll be having two items for rules and about. And uh, you have its icons and uh, also uh, pointing out its appropriate IDs. So that's fine. From here, we're straight to the layout. Well, we have the activity menu. In here, we're going to integrate the drawer and also its navigation view. So first, let's let's undo the drawer. Call on the drawer layout like this. With the layout width of match parent and the height of also match parent, we need to give it an ID. Don't forget that. I will give it the drawer layout. All right. So ah. Uh, we need to close that, but you'll be closing it with uh, the extension of the draw layout. Well, we're going to wrap that around uh, the linear layout. So I'm going to do that this way, and I'm going to cut this. I'll be cutting this, and I'm bringing it down here, because that right there. And I'll be indenting a little bit of the needed layout. The draw layout is not complete without its corresponding navigation view. So let's have that quickly, navigation view. In the navigation view, we have the width of wrap content, while the height will be match parent. And we give it an ID as well of our nav view. Call that nav view. All right. So it's not completed yet. We need to give it a layout gravity. And the layer gravity of stats. We we'll also be giving it the header layout. Now it should point at uh, the nav header. We'll be giving the menu. This should point at the menu drawer. Right. We'll close that out. Let's switch to the Java class of uh, the Kotlin class. I should could mention it and uh, we're going to be adding to the main activity. We'll be creating a couple of Init's let init var. I'll call that um we'll call that uh the layout or, or the app configuration uh, we'll call that the draw layout. Let's call that the draw layout first. And calls on this. Let's give another one. Let's in it. We'll call that the app configuration. All right. Now we're going to initialize the draw layout by calling binding. Cost to binding dirt. Uh, the draw layout. It's defined. Now uh, we need to include this as well as second parameter over here in the controller. I will call passing the draw layout in here. So let's continue with the rest. All uh, we need to do for the app configuration, the app bar configuration. I will call that app bar configuration. Or well, we'll pass the controller dot graph and uh, the draw layout. We also need to call the navigation UI. Set up with nav controller and uh, we'll call the nav view this time. And uh, the controller. Fine. So we need to replace uh, the return statement of the on support navigate up. I will need to do it this way. Navigation UI. Navigate up. Now we need to call the nav controller. And the ABBA configuration. That's all. So that's all we need to do uh, to actually get 
uh, the navigation draw integrated into our app. So I'm actually going to be launching this to the emulator uh, for us to actually visualize what we've done. So basically, uh, we just call on uh, the two late int. Late int simply means uh, it could be null at the point of of, of declaration, but uh, when it's being used, it should uh, now not be null. So that's just what the late int in it is. Uh, so now we've been able to initialize the draw layout. Uh, the same thing goes with the app configuration. But mind you, you have to pass in the draw layout as the third parameter when you're setting up the action bar with the nav controller. So with that, you're good to go. You set up with nav controller. You bind the nav view itself with the controller, uh, which is the nav host, because you're actually integrating the, the navigation draw with the application uh, navigation itself. So on, on support nav up, uh, you need to adjust this, call the navigation UI, and pass in the app bar configuration as well. So the system will be aware of uh, the draw. So that's just it. So let's see how it flows and uh, cool. Uh, that's what we need. We have the hamburger sign. At the same time, we could click on that to see the navigation draw. Uh, by the side of the rules and about. So you could actually click out there and you could drag from the side. It comes back and you also have it uh, grazed successfully. So that's cool. So that's how to go uh, in integrating uh, the navigation draw into the application and also having the whole architecture organized by the Android navigation. Thank you very much. And don't go anywhere. The next uh, video will be based on how to create a listener on each of these navigation menu item. Thank you.